Well, we've had this tiny little fox cub come in that had a wound on the front leg and then a larger wound on the back. Let's see, I can't stitch that. That's just leaking pus. Can you see that? All of this tissue is dead. Because it was all stuck up with hair, we couldn't see how bad the wound was until we knocked him out. Something must have bitten him because he's got another little wound this side, so something must have bitten him round the back. Probably a dog, I would have guessed. It's got to be one of the most shocking wounds I think I've ever seen. Oh my God. That's just huge, it's going down to his tail, isn't it? I really hoped that we could have somehow got the wound together, but it's just too much skin is missing and the skin that is there is dying and, and on top of that, it's, it's all just full of pus. This tissue is dead. Yep. You can see it's just, oh, yeah. it's just breaking away. All of that's, look, it's just falling off. I'm hardly touching it. That's all dead tissue. Living by the motto that we live by, which is just because you can try and fix something, doesn't always mean you should. And in this case, it would have been completely unfair to put him through weeks, if not months, of treatment on this awful, awful wound. No, it's too much, Liz. I call it so you don't have to make the decision. Well, we've just had to make a really difficult decision and, and, and put this little fox cub to sleep. It's just really sad because it really brings home the fact that 70% of them don't make their first birthday. And uh, so much for people saying that there are hundreds of foxes, you know, this is, this is the reality of it, this is what they go through. You got very stuck, haven't you? Please don't bite me because it'll hurt. Well, little one, just one cut and a lot of bending and you're free.